Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCom. It would definitely be good to speak to the Admiral. Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? What's our state of readiness, Admiral? I won't lie, Shepard. We're bogged down. Things aren't looking good in most sectors. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some wins, otherwise... This won't end well for the human race. Or any race. I thought we were doing okay. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnog Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. I'm glad you disabled that bomb on Tachanka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support. As it is, we picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. A lot of stuff to talk about. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. <laughs> yeah. The blood pack will be useful and violent. Mostly Vorchai here. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Darner Vosk is bringing his men and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth it. Yeah. What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. Huh. In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No problems with them, then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. Understandable. How about the Solarians? Interesting wrinkle. We've been getting back channel commitments from the strike teams within STG. They're promising to back us. The Major. Even after I cured the Genophage? Our intel suggests there are cracks developing between the military and the politicians. These STG guys know the score. They're not going to jeopardize the entire Solarian Union just because some Delatraz didn't get her way. I'm really glad to hear that. Do you know how the other races are doing against the Reapers? Believe it or not, the Turians and Krogan actually seem to be getting along. Erdnot Rex has deployed troops, and they're giving the Reapers a moment of pause. The Solarians are still hanging on to Sirkesh, but the Reapers are starting to breathe down their necks, too. What about the Asari? They have to be feeling the heat. The Reapers are moving fast with the obvious intent of taking Thessia. Interestingly, the Reapers are leaving Parnak alone. It's the Yogg homeworld. Oh, yeah? Can't say that I blame them. Yogg have teeth. Well, if we lose this war, it might be them running the next cycle. It's easy to forget the Reapers don't destroy every species. Just the ones who can threaten them. The Yogg are a hell of a threat. This has been on my mind for a while. Have we heard anything from the Quarians or Geth? Something might be brewing near the Geth border, but our intel is sketchy. News is getting harder to come by as things get worse. I bet. What happened to the Batarians? Never stood a chance, hit by the Reapers straight out of the gate. And without any allies to call on, I think the Batarians are history. As a species, yeah. Any word on the Volus and Elcor? The Turians and the Krogan sent forces to the Volus homeworld, Irun. It might not be enough, but at least they've got Reaper forces bogged down in a nasty ground war. Good. As for Elcor, they're still in the fight, though our projections show the Reapers encroaching on their territory soon. God, the Volus and the Elcor aren't warrior races. They are not cut out for this. Krogans and Turians, however? They'll break Nothing the more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. So that's the state of the war so far, everybody. It's a lot of money we got. Presumably, I don't remember whether that's talking with Admiral Hackett or just... in general. Let's check our war assets. Nothing much from Solarian. Krogans? Lots. Er, not Rex. Hmm. Clan Erdnot. I 
I wonder. Um, Morden specifically mentioned Malin's data keeping Eve alive. So without that data, would she have died? Yeah. So much Krogan power. Almost as much as the Alliance. And the Alliance has a lot of... We just have a lot of stuff. I like having stuff. Those optimized Ezo capacitors we found God knows where. And of course the Turians. 43rd Marine Division. Hmm. The 7th Fleet. Privilege and burden of guarding the Crucible. Constant surveillance around the massive device coordinating with Alliance security patrols. The legendary banner of the 1st Regiment has lifted their spirits. Turian Engineering Corps. Yeah, if I hit that, it'll exit me out completely. Those are our war assets, though. You know what, guys? We've actually hit the top of the gauge, it looks like. That means if I get it to 100 and all I need to do is just play multiplayer matches, we're gonna do it. We're gonna fucking win this war. More information. Chances of success are low but measurable. Slowly but steadily pushing back allied forces. You know what? That's a lot better than heavy casualties. System offline. I think we might have lost connection or maybe the servers are out. Our readiness stands at 80%. And that's the state of basically the galaxy, everybody. It looks like everybody's cleared out of the war room. They've gone off to do their own stuff. Which I suspect means the next phase of the game is on. See the bids and the maw taking down the Reaper? Man, I wish I could have been there. I'm just glad the diplomats are off the ship. A Krogan and a Turian in the same room is a fight waiting to happen. And you guys would have had to break it up. Commander, Admiral Hackett has requested your help with a Cerberus fighter base on Navaria. I bet. We'll look into it. The Turians have given us top-level access to their combat data. Their ships are already moving in to help the Alliance fleet. You actually secured a Krogan-Turian alliance. It's one thing to hear about Commander Shepard. It's another to see her in action. <laughs> Commander? Rex. A new hotmail? New article on Reaper. Pharos, the uniform militia from Zeus Hope. Wow. Pharos is fighting back. That was a long time ago. Still fighting from Shiala. The people of Zeus Hope are fighting again. Help me back on Ilium. Wow. I'm sure I'm still indoctrinated. Wow. That is amazing. We may have found a way to counteract Reaper indoctrination, although I'm sure the cost is too high. General Corinthus is impressed with us. <laughs> Alevin might be saved after all. Hell yeah. <laughs> Making babies. <laughs> ah, yes. Message from the Dalatris. I'll get you next time, Shepard. You and your little dog, too. Uh huh.
Yeah. You know what the Krogan are gonna remember? They're gonna remember their history, thanks to Rex. And they're gonna remember who tried to poison them. Awesome. Since we read around it, it happened. That is awesome. I don't know whether to talk to everybody or just end it here. I figured I might want to end the session around here, but... Actually, if I record a little bit more, then I can make two decent-sized video chunks. So that's what I'm gonna do. Commander. Ready to go talk to folks, because I figure... That's always a lovely time sink. This is recorded a bit later than the other stuff. Oh, hey. Alright, my turn. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Uh, I give up. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turia gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? A friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. <laughs> I gotta respect the classics. How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask the Asari for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterward. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. Why does the Alliance hire pilots <laughs> with brittle bone disease? Uh-oh. You're, you're shitting me! The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. <laughs> hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. Yep. I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about Morden. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. I'm glad it was just your elbow. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. To save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. Yeah. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. <laughs> so how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. It is really cool. There's enough misery in this universe. It's nice to see something go right for a change. Can't say I've ever really witnessed history in the making like this. Well, except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel. And then there was the Collector base, but this one felt good. Yeah. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. I was just thinking along Imagine such lines. Imagine carnage if someone like that brother of his, Reeve, took over. Oof. It could happen. I know, it's a chance we have to take, but I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Solarian deal. Hmm. Honestly, it really never crossed my mind. Also, Reeve is the one who takes over if Rex dies, so I'm really glad I kept Rex alive. That's what I like about the third one. It's such a different experience. All the decisions you make have diverged the story so much that it really feels like your story now. I could never bring myself to do that, no matter what I was offered. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. Let's hope our luck holds. Yeah. So say we all. Glad to see they're getting along in the cockpit just fine. I wonder where Edie ran off to. Always moving around on me nowadays, guys. Is Morton's name on here?
Morden Solus, left side, fourth from the bottom. Yeah. Carry on, Morden. Ship's gonna feel a little more empty without all these guys running around. Weren't part of our team, but... Well, you know what? They were part of our team. Doc. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I wanted to help with his scars, but I think he actually likes them. He's got pride Hello, in Hello, Commander. Shepard. I thought you might be down here, Edie. What are you Shepard? up to now? I am uploading data on the destroyed Reaper to the Turians. They are investigating possible Reaper structural weakness. Oh, yeah? Our data says Reaper capital ships such as Sovereign are of unique design. However, smaller Reaper destroyers bear similarities. Neat. That one was small? Relatively, yes. Ground attack ships are only 160 meters in height. Sovereign was approximately two kilometers. Well, keep talking to the Turians. If there's a chink in the Reaper's armor, we all need to know it. Agreed. Hello, Shepard. Edie probably just got annoyed by all the racist jokes they're telling up in the cockpit. Understandable. I don't suppose there would be anyone down here in the main battery. Always good to check. Garrus is the one who roams more than anybody else, honestly. Liara. Any sign of life? The Reaper destroyed by the Thresher Maw appears to be completely inert, Doctor. We would need to send in teams to be sure. Out of the question. Tell the Krogan to stay away. Yeah. We've already tried the investigating a derelict Reaper thing before. It didn't work so well. Mass relay traffic reports. A percent decrease, forty-three percent increase. Widow Nebula, ninety-five percent increase. Yeah. I wonder how we would get a hold of this data. The genophage cured. The Krogan have no reason to hold back now, do they? Rex. Hope for a better future. You know, all the reasons that the rest of us hold back, Liara. Rex knows what he's doing, but can he keep the Krogan in check? Or will this be the start of another Krogan Empire? Maybe it's both. Why can't the Krogan build themselves an empire? It's, been a, th it's been a thousand years. And after what I saw in the valley... I'm convinced they can probably pull this off without killing everybody else. All of this has happened before, but it doesn't have to happen again, everybody. Need anything, Commander? Adams. How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. Yeah. Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. <laughs> How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. Yeah, it doesn't seem right to leave him to rot in prison. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop. AI. I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the light. Yeah, yeah but I saw this. through her. 
And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If you I had never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. I bet. But Joker seemed to trust her. All right. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. I'm glad we had this talk. My board is green. Yay. Javik. Commander. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. Ah. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Thane. And a Krogan who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished. The weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Yeah. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life. Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Can't imagine why. What the fuck? I thought I already lost connection. Did I regain it? We are a... I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are is this, is it going to keep reminding me? Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. <laughs> you think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this and we'll both be set free. Maybe. Maybe we will. It's just gonna keep reminding me that I've lost connection, right? Honestly, I couldn't give a fuck. EA servers were down last night, which is why I couldn't do one continuous session. This beats the hell out of reporting on the Milgram City Council. I don't think I've heard of Milgram. Which place is that again? Beckenstein. It's right next door to the Citadel. I'm a colony kid. Oh. That's where we went for Kasumi's loyalty mission in the last game? Commander, got a minute? Oh boy. What do you want to know? You've just implemented a cure for the genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni war and Krogan rebellions? Oh hey, an actual chance for Diplo. We haven't seen a lot of these so far. It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Meaning? The Krogan were heroes once, and they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? The Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. I helped them get the genophage cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Krogan. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. 
Okay, I'll cut that together with the rest of the segment and send it to command for approval. Yay. We're on TV, everybody. Why the hell shouldn't they get a colony world? Have you seen how Krogan reproduce? Also, Tuchanka's really shitty. Except for that one little valley. Good to see you, Commander. Rex. How's the situation on our equipment? I think I got some new armor components. Especially, um... Where's the gloves options? I guess... Power recharge, weapon damage, weapon damage, headshot damage. Honey Kadar. Ariaki. Casa Fabrication. Ceres Council. Power damage. I think that's the one I was wearing last game. Yeah, with the big ass fucking collar. Honey Kadar. That's not bad. Weapon damage. Eh. Honestly, I'd rather take the slight boost to my shield region. Shield region, weapon damage, headshot damage, melee damage. I think I've got my priorities in order. I have so many helmets now. Okay, this visor, you know, as far as these kinds of visors go, it's not that bad. As opposed to things like these, which are terrible. The death mask. It is a death mask. No helmet. Yeah, that's the one that actually tells you about my... About my ragtag assemblage of... Armor components. Still have that fracking dress. Still got no purpose for it. Hmm, I'm still thinking about switching to the formal uniform sometime. I don't know, that doesn't really seem to work with Shepard. Four is just... It's got, like, little formal epaulets and stuff, and... The rank indicators and stuff, but it's still... It's, like, casual formal. I think it's fitting. Okay, what else can we fuck with here? Procurement interface. Inspector requisitions is usually where stuff like that will be. Interesting that they have a picture of Manship modeling their product. Sort of supplies, metagel capacity. Yes. Yes. Spend all the fucking money you want to. That means we now have seven metagel capacity. We're approaching what we had at the end of Mass Effect 2. What I kind of like is that with everything that's happened, I. Hmm, long range submachine gun. Standard equipment for Cerberus troops. Cover fire during prolonged conflict. Interesting. I gotta say, the, uh. The katana, is it? Is already doing pretty good for me. Man. <clears throat> There's a phalanx in this game, there's a manok in this game. There's the fucking which one? The eviscerator is the one that's I swear to god, I better see a, a locust SMG eventually. Is there anything needs upgrading? Hmm. All those other poor snipers just kinda got If I was gonna theoretically upgrade something, the only thing that would possibly get any use is the scorpion. So I guess that's what we'll invest into. There we go. What would be the weight on that thing now? Still pretty terrible weight. Even with all the upgrades. 
Yeah, I'm not one to take that huge hit. And like I said, the Predator has been performing admirably so far. That'll be good to improve the damage and stuff for other characters. Even if it's only incremental improvements. That's about it. Oh, we'll talk to James. We haven't talked with him in a while. So, about the Thresher Mall. Parts of Tachanka reminded me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but, you know, the sand and everything. Huh. A lot of people have mentioned James as kind of our Krogan substitute, both in his skill set and in his attitude. Hmm. I'll buy it. Okay. Cortez doesn't have anything to say. That's it. That's the ship, everybody. So. We've done a lot, haven't we? Of course, there's still more stuff on our plate. Including we gotta go to the Citadel for a business meeting. But next time on Let's Play Mass Effect 3, we'll see if any new clusters have opened up. We'll go piss off the Reapers, and then we'll go piss off Cerberus Fighter Base. See what we can do about that. See ya.